In this tutorial, we will do an exercise on wireframe and surface design workbench. Here we can see a completed design of a mouse. Let's firstly open up Pod Design Workbench. And before you open up, make sure that Your enable hybrid design is disabled. Now insert two geometric set by going to insert geometric set and then name the first geometric set as foundation sketch and next geometric set as surfaces. Define in work object for the foundation sketch. This design of mouse is based on the observation. So this is not based on any fixed dimension. As you work, pick up the mouse on your hand and see the different see from different angle how your mouse looks. Based on that, we will be doing the exercise. This exercise will help you to improve your observation skill and uh, arbitrary, arbitrary dimensioning. Let's firstly create the top sketch. Go to the XY plane and click on the sketch. And let's firstly insert a spline. Make sure that your sketch has something similar to this shape. And now you can select this particular spline and click on the mirror and select the vertical and then zoom in to make this portion smooth. You could also select the dimensioning and select the two and go for tangency. So this will be fine. Now once we're done with this, let's exit the sketch. And now, let's create a side sketch. Select the side and then use the intersect 3D elements and click on the first sketch. In this way, you have the starting and the end point of your sketch. Now you can select those two points and click on the construction elements. Now you can Select the spline. Make sure that when you are starting the spline, disable the construction elements and start sketching the spline. Now exit the sketch Now create another sketch from the front view So before doing that let's create surface for the two and do the trimming part Define in work object for the surfaces geometric set and then Go for the extrude command and select the first sketch. Extrude this to a particular height which is more than this height here. Click on OK and do the extrusion for the this profile as well. Now 
to the mirror extent, click on OK. Now you can use the trim command and trim the two surfaces, click on OK. Now we have a particular uh, shape being created here. Now select the ZX plane, click on the sketch and in this case take your mouse in your hand and see from your friend how you have the contour. Based on that, select the spline and start sketching. So before that, you have this particular sketch here. Click on the sketch and use the project intersect the 3D element and now come to the no 3D background and select this point and go for construction elements. Now again, disable the construction element, come back to the 3D background. So we are doing this step because we don't want this point to be counted in our sketch. Now select this line slowly start sketching this as you can see our sketch is almost coming to a shape exit before exiting the sketch select this particular sketch here and go for a mirror command which is right here select the V axis exit the sketch now now you can do an extrude on this click on OK now go for the trim command once again this time Now we have a shape, something similar to this. So there is one step which that you could do before you enter into that particular step. Hide this particular extrude command and select this particular surface and go for operations, edge fillet and specify the edge fillet as around 8 mm or else you could give it 10 mm. Click on OK. Now, bring back your extrude. And use the trim command. And trim it. Now select two, these two services right here. And go for operations edge fillet this time give around uh, 7 mm click on OK and that creates a smoothness in the next tutorial we will continue with the mouse design